Right, well, this is my latest little project. This is a Squire Affinity Telecaster. As you can see from the headstock, I'm not very sure how long I've had this. I think 11 or 12 years. It's a little different from some Affinity Tellies you might have seen. Um, you can see here that got two semi-transparent black plastic knobs, which is a little bit unusual, rather than the normal uh, knurled silver Telecaster knobs. That switch I retrofitted, I haven't got a knob for the top of it, but that's a four position switch there, so that gives you the usual bridge, neck, bridge plus neck, and also the two of them in series, which gives a Fairly seriously hefty sound, um, not one I particularly like, so uh, I'll be reverting to the normal three-way switch when the, uh, the latest operations about to commence on this. I haven't played it very much in all the years I've had it, but it has been tuned up for a while in a sort of modified bazooki tuning. For the musicians among you, that's from the bottom to the top, that would be D-A-D-A-D-D. Two top strings being the same. Um, you can see, in fact, from the intonation settings on the saddles there that uh, that's uh, somewhat strange. <laughs> so uh, that'll need re-intonating before it can be properly played with normal strings on it, but um, it's an easy job. Um, so what I'm going to do to it is make it look better and hopefully sound better. And to do that I've got some nice goodies have a set of these. Tone Rider Vintage Plus Telecaster pickups, one for the neck, one for the bridge. They're uh, very easy to put in, you need obviously to remove the bridge and remove the scratch plate to do that, but um, they just bolt in. Um, no real issues with that at all. And I also have find it, one of these. Yes, it's a nice pearly scratch plate. This thing it's just a probably here it's fairly softish, horrible single ply piece of plastic. Whereas this is pretty solid and substantial. I don't know how well you can see that. But it's pretty thick, it's three ply stuff. And it's pearly and shiny, and it should make this look like a much nicer, slicker instrument than it is now. What I've also got, and that's not arrived yet, that's on order, shouldn't be more than a couple of days getting here. It's a complete new control assembly. So that'll be the two standard silver knurl knobs and a three-way switch. And it all comes ready wired. I'm not sure what the potentiometers are in there for the volume and tone. I would imagine they're probably 250k. But the new assembly I've ordered has got 500k's in it, which should give it a bit of bite and top end. Um, that might be too much bite for some people, but because I play with my fingers, does tend to muffle the sound a little bit. So uh, I think it's always nice to have that bit of extra zing at the top, which you'll get from using uh, uh, higher impedance uh, potentiometers, or higher resistance potentiometers, rather. So there we are. That's the, uh, that's the plan. And uh, get going on that fairly shortly and see how it goes.